Hey YouTube, today I thought I'd film a quick review of my HP laptop that I got about six months ago. Um, so I'm just going to go over some of the features and specs and just kind of give my opinion about it. So um, let's begin by closing this and I'll kind of give a tour of the laptop. So starting back here you have a really nicely grained um, kind of material with the Hewlett Packard kind of etched into it. It's really nice. Mm. Then moving on to here you have this also nice kind of material graining thing. Um, but the one thing I did notice about it is that well first it gets little nicks like this the paint is kind of scratched off so that's not something I really like so this might not be the laptop for you if you throw it around because the paint will easily scratch off here so another feature is this thing is the HP logo that lights up when it's on it might be kind of hard to tell right now but it's lit up and then when it goes to sleep or something the HP logo will turn off Moving on to the side, you have the vent here, the VGA port, an HDMI port, the Ethernet port. Sorry if the camera's a little off. You have the Ethernet port right here, which you open by opening this thing. And then moving over here, you have a USB 3.0 port and a USB 2.0 port. Wait, no, these are both USB 3.0, and there's one 2.0 on the other side. Then you have the microphone and headphone slot. Moving over to the front, it might be kind of hard to tell, but there is a SD card slot that you can put your memory card in. Moving over to the front, we have kind of an insert so you can get your finger under it to open the laptop lid. And moving on to this side, you have the CD the, or DVD disc drive. It opens up like this. One thing I did notice that's kind of weird is that, like right now, it does open when you press the little button. But oftentimes, it just won't open no matter how many times you press the button. But I don't really mind since I don't use discs anyway. But that's kind of weird that sometimes it would open, like right now, and then sometimes it wouldn't. Moving over to this side, you have another USB 3.0 port and a USB 2.0 port, which my mouse is plugged into. You have the charge port and then the lock port thing. And also, you have um, hard drive and power indicators that flash. And on the back, you have the battery place with the jack thing. You have another little fan port, the rubber pads, four of them. Don't look at my serial code. And here we have a subwoofer, which I don't know if that really counts, but it does come with the Beats audio, so there's a speaker on the bottom. And here's another view of the SD card slot. Opening it back up, you'll see I have Windows 8. It originally came with Windows 7, but I decided to upgrade it since it came with a free promotion thingy. So, let's see, we have a trackpad here, and then you have your left click and right click buttons, all nicely outlined in this little chrome strip. Also in the corner, it's a little pad that if you double tap, this orange light will come on. Come on. There we go. And that just disables the trackpad. So right now the trackpad is disabled and it won't move with the mouse. Or it'll only move with the mouse which I've connected. Now we're on to the stickers. We have this HP sticker, Windows 7, which is what it came with. And comes with a Core i5, 2.5 gigahertz. And here you have a fingerprint reader, which I do not use. But you can use it to like unlock your computer and other things. 
Now moving up to the top, let's go. You have the Pavilion DV6 logo there. You have HP True Vision HD it's a camera and two microphones. Then you have the Beats Audio logo right there. Then here we have the speakers, the power button, and another logo. And this whole thing is big chrome strip. Looks really nice. And the keyboard is your standard keyboard. Um, this one is a 15 inch laptop and surprisingly it does come with a full number pad which can make this a little, a little cluttered but I think it's okay. okay. Moving on to the operating system. This is Windows 8 and uh, I'm not sure why other people don't like it because I personally really do like it because of its fast boot times and other things but I don't really use the screen much except for the three games that I have and like just looking at the weather and other things and I also have the desktop right here so I mostly use the desktop of course I don't use this but it's still pretty nice to have and like I said it does load up really fast and is much more responsive than the Windows 7 that I did have with it and the same if you move the mouse over here you get your charms menu search share then we have the start which basically is the same thing as pressing the Windows key which brings you back to your last thing and to turn off the laptop you can either configure it to press the button to turn it off or you just go to the side then to the settings then this power thing and shut down you can also restart and put the computer to sleep then some other settings you have are the brightness the Wi-Fi notifications and keyboard which is not working you have the PC settings which is this really nice screen all everything is big and easy to see and over to the right you have the open apps like right now I have open the PC settings desktop weather and mail and also if you do get mail or some other thing it will show a notification up in the top right corner like even if you're on the desktop or something and right clicking on the mouse will open up this menu which has nothing right now unless you like select this game and then you can have options such as unpin from start uninstall to make it smaller which will make it like a half tile and then you can also make it larger get a full tile and then you have all apps basically so it shows all the installed apps and stuff on your computer if you click it it zooms out on the um, start menu so in case you do have like a billion tiles you can find them so that is my quick review of this HP DV6 laptop and Windows 8 I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching